Hi guys, I am Shahzad and welcome in this video. Today we are going to discuss about the data types in PHP. Make sure how many data types available in PHP like string, like boolean, like uh, integer and a lot of data types available in PHP. So let's get started. Okay guys, if you talk about the data types, we always use the data types while storing the data in your variables or while forwarding the data to a particular uh, server or by using the API. So if I say that I have the x variables and I'm storing the 10, so 10 is the integer value. Make sure 10 is the integer value. If I say wardm or if I say echo, both are the same. We're going to discuss about the wardms, why we always use the wardm in our later lectures. So wardm x. So go to the page, refresh the page. As you can see, it's showing that this is the integer value which is the 10 okay now if you are saying that you need the string then you have to use the double quotations or the single quotations and here you can write your string here i'm saying hello world hello world go to the page refresh the page as you can see it's saying it's, it's a string value but if you talk about the float values you always use the float values in the decimal 10.2 or 10.5 go to the page refresh the page after saving your file as you can see it's saying float value okay now if you say that you are going to store the boolean's value boolean always return the true or false if you talk about the true it's saying as you can see this is a boolean it's a true if you say one it's also true make sure one is the value but if you are using one while working on conditions then true or one both are the same thing but let's consider the true so true is the boolean value first of all true and if you say false it's saying boolean okay we also have another type of data type which is the array let's suppose if you want to store the multiple values in a single variable here as you can see this is a single value and we are storing the value in these variables but if you are saying that you are going to store multiple values, then how can you do that? I'm saying my array. And here I'm saying 10, 20, and 40. So go to the page, refresh the page. Now just give this wardum. Refresh the page. As you can see, it's saying array. You also have several types of array. So this is the simple array. You also have the multidimensional array or the associative array. We're going to discuss about the arrays in our later lectures. Hey guys, if you talk about the object, object is also a data type. Make sure once we cover the object oriented programming, then we're going to discuss about the objects. But for instance, you have the laptop. It's an object. I. I'm a teacher. I am also an object. If you are a student, you are also an object. So everything, it's an object. But if you talk about the laptop, it's object. And the laptop has several properties and also the methods. Let's suppose the keyword key. Let's suppose the keyboard is the property of the laptop stream and also the Ethernet connections touch page so these are the properties which defines the laptop and the laptop may have several functions you can open or close the laptop you can use the wi-fi so we're going to discuss about the objects in our later lectures if you talk about the null we also have the data type which is the null so x refresh as you can see it's saying null so this is the null value make sure if you are giving the double quotations and you are not assigning anything here then as you can see it's saying it's a string but it's empty string but if you are saying that this is the null that means the value is the null okay guys so these are the basic things or these are the data types available in the php or while working on the php so i hope guys you are enjoying our videos if you think we are doing good thumbs up and thank you for watching